Designing a tiny house is anything but easy. Working with limited space means that every aspect of the design has to be well considered. And today, here in Queensland, we're about to visit an architecturally designed tiny house that has masterfully tackled that challenge. Hi, Alison, how are you? Hi, Ross, good to meet you. It's great Hi. to meet you. G'day, Ben, how are you doing, mate? Good, mate, yourself? Very well, thank you. And I cannot wait to check out this super cool tiny house you've built. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So first of all, what was it that sparked the idea to build a tiny house? Yeah, it was when my <laughs> our youngest daughter was a little baby, actually, wasn't it? I'm an architect and I was in the corporate world for a long time and then I was found myself at home with our daughter and watching your show, actually, <laughs> a bit. And, uh, yeah, I just got inspired by the idea of tiny houses and then we went travelling in our caravan and it just became a real thing, didn't it? I started sketching away different ideas, going, we could do something really cool here and yeah, we both took off, didn't it? We, yeah. yeah, we loved it. Yeah, especially as a family unit, we found ourselves always outside when we were in the caravan and we just love that concept and getting people outside of houses and but still you have this, such a beautiful space to live in. And the way Al's designed it, you, you can sort of see that, you know, just because you're in a tiny space doesn't mean it has to feel tiny. Yeah. You know, they're actually like, a lot of people get into this house and they think to themselves they're in a much bigger house than what it actually is. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially as an architect, it must have been such a unique challenge to have such a finite amount of space to work with. It was, it really was. But that was the fun of the challenge, I think. I was like, I really want wanted it to feel big and spacious but in a small space yeah it was very exciting trying out something different and turned out quite well in the end yeah <laughs> yeah it's turned out really well like yeah. we've had a lot of feedback from thousands of people now and yeah and it's all been really well received yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and this particular tiny house has been built as a b and b yeah, that's right. We kind of have it mix it up a bit, don't we? It's our office space a little bit because we're renovating our house. So it's like our second home and it's also in between an Airbnb. So yeah. yeah, good income. So yeah, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's working quite well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I can see you've got the start of another tiny house on the property here yeah. as well. Yes, we yes. do. So yeah. it's all it's happening. We'd yes. like to get a little village going one day. So yeah. slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So designing one wasn't enough. You had no, to go back for more. <laughs> I know. I had so many more ideas. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And what size is this tiny house? It's 8.4 metres long, 2.4 metres wide and 4.3 metres high. So maxing out our height there. But maxing yeah. out those road dimensions? Yeah, exactly. Yep, Getting why as not? much in as we can. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And can you tell me about the design of the tiny house? I mean, the idea is, as you can see, we've got a lot of windows on the outside. So the idea was to play with this height that we've got. So yeah, we're trying to let a lot of natural light in. We're trying to make it feel big and spacious. We're trying to maximise our views. The cladding we've used, yeah. the standing seam, colour bond cladding. So all the fixings are all hidden. So you, it makes it a really clean look. And also with these big, tall standing seams, it always draws your eye up. So it makes it look, it makes it look really tall, this house. Yeah, it yeah. does. And I'm a big fan of standing seam metal as well. Yeah, I just yeah. think it adds such a nice, classic, clean, modern look oh, yeah. to a home, eh? Yeah, it does. It does. It looks yeah. really nice, you know. And the colours um, that Al's chosen with the black windows and the grey and everything, it just sort of ties in really well, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. We didn't want too dark a colour on the outside, so it didn't heat up like a hot box. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, work quite well. And you certainly do have a lot of windows in this tiny house, don't you? <laughs> yes, we do, don't we? It's, uh... Yeah, architects love their windows. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> There's a view from every room. It's all, you yeah. know. I especially like the way that you've done the recess on the end of the house there. Yeah, yeah. The big eave that we've got around the end there, it just makes it a lot more house-like. And we've got the wood cladding around the inside too, again, just to add an extra sort of like change to the outside cladding and the nice lighting that happens when you got it on at night time just shines under those windows and just yeah it makes it look really lovely yeah and then we've also got parapet walls at either end which again is a it's a really nice detail to give it a nice square look on either end but then you still got a sloping roof to come down so you can still do your rainwater and gutters and stuff yeah, yeah very classy yeah. i like that <laughs> yeah. and can you tell me about the land that we're on right now yeah, this yeah. is our little property that we that we decided to it's invest in. It's not so in. little. Yeah. <laughs> no, 20 acres, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's about 20 acres and yeah, and we're starting to regenerate the whole place because it's basically all regrowth here. 
So yeah, we want to replant the original species and yeah. and get syntropic gardens going and all sorts of things happening on that property. Yeah, so really exciting. What yeah. a cool project. And of course the house is nicely extended with the deck here and then you've got such a cool fire pit there overlooking the bush as well. Yeah, yeah. we love the fire pit. Views yeah, that the pretty views. Yeah. yeah, that's the reason why we set it up here just so we could get that massive view over the property and to see the mountains out the back and things like that, yeah. Well, this place just looks fantastic from the outside and I cannot wait to see what you've done on the interior. Can we take a look? Yeah, come on in. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, this is incredible. Immediately looking at this house, I can see that you have approached this design very three-dimensionally. Definitely, yes, definitely. <laughs> Playing with all aspects, the height of it's been a really big factor. Playing with the length of it and making it feel spacious everywhere, so yes, 3D. Because I can really see you've done everything on all of these different levels and layers. Yeah, it's been partly inspired by the sailing that we've done, hasn't it? All this built-in storage. We love our sailing, so there's a big boat influence there. Same with the net that's up there as well. Yeah. The different levels tend to break up the spaces too. So yeah. like having a, a step up here in the center sort of breaks the space where you've got a sleeping space there and a kitchen and dinette there. And so yeah, having all these different levels just allows for all these different spaces within the house and it just, yeah, keeps it all so people can still move around freely and not, not get on each other's toes. Yeah. Yeah, it's another design technique to break up spaces without having walls and enclosing it. So that was a big part of it. And the window placement in here is brilliant as well because everywhere in the house has a view and a Especially those windows at the end that just have this incredibly framed forest vista. Yeah, these tall windows especially makes you really feel the full height of this tiny house space. And then every single room, like you're saying, you can look out at all the beautiful views of the bushland around. So it's a big part of the design. And especially over the side of the house, there's a lot going on here because we've got the lounge, we've even got the other bedroom down below. It's very yes. clever the way that you've tucked all of this into such a compact space. Yeah, we wanted to do something a bit different, create all these spaces, but still keep it feel very open and spacious. So that was a big part of it. So yeah, the little bedroom under there is quite a fun one and quite good for kids actually. It's kind of like a bit of a cubby house. So there's a very playful sort of nature to this whole design and that was partly influenced by the fact we've got two young kids. So. <laughs> They love it. If they love it, then we're on to a winner. <laughs> and it really looks like you've also built in a lot of storage into this area. Yeah, we have. We know how important it is in the tiny house to get in as much storage as you can. So everywhere we could get storage, we have, we've got it in there. And very much in keeping with that boat design, it's really cool the way that you've even built storage into the floor here. Yeah, that's right. And it's, yeah, it's been really good, this space. It kind of breaks up the kitchen area from the bedroom area over there. And then, yeah, lots of useful storage in there as well. So it's been great. Absolutely. Yeah. Can never have too much. No, you can't. You really can't. <laughs> and what you've done up here with the lounge is just so nice. What a space just to be able to sit back, relax and soak in that view. Yeah, mm. often sit there with a book or something like that and just look out at the beautiful views and yeah, the nature around us. The mornings are great because the bird life in this area is just fantastic. We have so many birds just sitting in the trees just outside all the time. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And the kitchen design over here just looks so spacious. Yes, it is quite big, 3.6 meter long kitchen bench. Yeah, brilliant. And I really love what you've done here with the dining space as well. It's so unusual to see a dedicated dining space in a tiny house, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big part of the design, having all these little nooks that you can break away into. And, you know, you can have a number of people in this tiny house and everyone could be in a different space doing their own thing if they want to be. So the dining nooks very well used. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. even just to have a space where you can sit together as a family, play yeah. board games and that yeah. sort of thing. It's exactly. so nice, eh? Yeah. yeah, it totally is. We're probably inspired a bit from our travels in the caravan too. We had our own little dining nook there. So that was a bit of the inspiration as yeah. well. We really loved it as a family, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And what a functional kitchen. As you said, plenty of prep space and all of the necessary appliances in here. Well, you know, <laughs> when a woman's designed it, we <laughs> made sure the kitchen was important. <laughs> Bit of a joke between us. Yeah, no uh, room for sexism. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, and lots of, you know, big pantry space and everything. So, yeah, lots of space. Yeah, and I can see you have built loads of storage into this space too. Yeah, it's definitely important to me to have a big kitchen with lots of space so you could fit everything you need in here. And everything's yeah. full size. So, you know, you've got 
proper size appliances and proper size fridge and everything. So it can handle a whole family in here, no trouble at all. Excellent. And I just really like the overall aesthetic in this home as well. The way that you've matched the black joinery with the beautiful plywood walls and the white cabinetry just looks so nice. Yeah, thank you. We wanted to create a, a very warm feeling, but also quite spacious. So yeah, definitely a very warm palette mixed in with some other punches of color with the black. Yeah, yeah almost sort of farmhouse vibes, eh? Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. And behind you, we've got your bathroom. Can we take a look at that? For sure, come on through. Cool, thank you. Hey, this is a really neat and compact design in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we maximized the space as much as we could with our minimal ceiling heights and our nice big shower that we've still got here. And it's a nice simple vanity setup, nice big mirror, but it still feels like quite an open space, an airy bathroom. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the composting toilet there? Yes, yes. Good old Clivus Moultrum, the great uh, solid composting toilet. It's uh, so reliable and yeah, anybody can use a composting toilet. They're great. Absolutely. And can we check out the upstairs? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. All right. Hey, this is really cool. I especially like the way that you've got the desk in here. What a cool way of fitting in a workspace. Yeah, Yeah, we love this space, so we use it a little bit ourselves. We sit up here and look out the, the windows, the high level windows, and do some work, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And I'm always such a fan of loft nets. It's just such a cool, playful feature to fit into a tiny house, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're lots yeah. of fun, like having a net and so you get that extra bit of space there, somewhere to lounge around like a hammock, but also it's really good at letting light in below, you know, so yeah, which is really handy and and if you're lucky, you might be able to lie there and reach down for a beer or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hand one up to you. <laughs> if someone will oblige you. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. And then the bedroom just looks like such a cosy space. It's a fun space, isn't it? You know, with the net out the front. And yeah. I don't like, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. I don't like these enclosed lofts. So for me, it was great having this sort of open, airy feel to the loft up here. Yeah. A big part of it. Bit of storage up there as well? Yes. Got the important wardrobe up there for all the clothes and everything. Yeah, great. And it looks like you've been able to fit a lot of headroom above the bed as well, which is good to see. Yeah, it's pretty decent, isn't it? What is it? 12, 1300? Yeah, nearly 1300, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you can sit up in bed really easily, have your breakfast in bed and stuff like that. And um, But it's big enough, you can actually fit a king size bed in there. Very nice. Yeah. So you've had the tiny house about eight months now. How's it working out for you? Oh, we love it. Yeah, it's been so many things for us, but it's been a great little office breakaway space for us. And yes, we have used it as Airbnb as well. So it's been a bit of an all-rounder for us. And especially while we're renovating our house, this has sort of been like our second home coming out here and, you know, having a proper kitchen and a good office space to work in. Yeah. And you've since moved on to now designing and building these for other people as well. Yeah, it's just naturally grown from here. We, we really got very passionate about this and it's just flourished. So it's very exciting. And of course, as an architect, what a cool thing to be able to throw yourself into and get really creative with your designs. Yeah, it is. I really love the challenge of having a small space and turning it into something really different and really cool. So yeah, I absolutely love what I'm doing now. So it's perfect and it's good. It's a good lifestyle with us, you know, we've got two young kids now and it's just, life's at a bit of a different pace and it just works really well for our family and everything. So we're, yeah, we love it. Yeah. yeah. And fun projects for you to throw yourself into as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lot to manage and project plan, but we're okay at that sort of thing. So yeah, yeah we like doing it. We good, enjoy it. We're a yeah. good team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And now you can set your sights to developing this land more and doing all of the other fun projects. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so, yeah. We'd like to, you know, like do a lot more on this property and, you know. Create have, a little village. Yeah, yeah, create a little village and yeah, have a lot of fun with it. Having a space for our families, it's been really good, hasn't it? Like it's sort of the spirit of adventure and fun. It's like our little camping getaway space yeah. for us, isn't it? Like we're just outdoors so much more on the fire pit, cooking things. Where it brings out the playful side yeah, of us, this space, that's right. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we get away from what we're normally doing and getting into a space where we just feel like this is like going on our own little holiday for a night or two. Yeah, and yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. The yeah. kids love hiding in all the yeah, storage that's spaces. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I'll often find the kids hiding in the different cupboards <laughs> and things like that. And so, yeah, we had a great time in this one. Yeah, we do. And can we talk about the cost that was involved in bringing this home to life? <laughs> yeah, it was about 120,000, yeah, to build it and, um, yeah, bring it all to life, as you see it. So, yeah, 
No, it was a good adventure and uh, yeah, a lot of our own labour to get it to this. So yeah. 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 What a fantastic result. Yeah, thank you. Well, you've both done such an incredible job with this home. I can really see there has been some exceptionally clever design poured into this space. Thank you so much for sharing it with thank me. Thank you. Thanks, Bryce. My pleasure. Cheers. Alison and Ben have done a remarkable job with the design and build of this home. You can see that every inch of this space has been very well used and thought about three-dimensionally in a way that all of the different levels and layers has made this space amazingly functional. This really is a very clever home.